नमस्कार सर वेलकम बैक दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स ऑन इंटेग्रेशन इन दिस लेक्चर वी शेल लर्न हाउ टू इंटेग्रेट यूजिंग पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन इन दिस लेक्चर वी जस्ट लर्न हाउ टू रिजोल्व द फंक्शन इन टू पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन एंड देन एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू इंटेग्रेट However, the integration part we will do in the next class. Like for example, uh, integration with polynomials in denominator we shall discuss in the next class. So this class is dedicated for partial fractions and how to use this for integration. This is very easy to follow because you already know what partial fractions are. however for sake of completeness let me explain to you some aspects of partial fractions when to use partial fractions when not to use partial fractions how it is used in integration will be discussed in this class as i already mentioned the real examples using partial fractions will be discussed in the next example in summary lecture 6 and lecture 7 should be continuously learnt to understand how to integrate using partial fractions now we define a polynomial so these are the prerequisites required for partial fraction we define a polynomial p of x for instance you can take ax plus b is a linear polynomial where a and b are unknown constants certainly a not equal to 0 because if a is zero it is no more to be a linear polynomial similarly a quadratic polynomial i will call maybe i will call p1 the first degree polynomial p2x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c where a not equal to zero as as usual if a not equal to zero this becomes a linear polynomial of course b can be zero that doesn't matter Similarly, I discuss my third degree polynomial p3x is equal to let's say ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d with a not equal to zero again. So like that, one can discuss first degree, second degree, third degree, etc. up to nth degree polynomial. Okay, the coefficient of the highest degree should not be equal to zero. That's an agreement. well we will not use p1 p2 p3 p4 etc we use some other notation like p of x so what is p of x it is a polynomial of some known degree okay maybe second degree or third degree or whatever it is similarly i will define another polynomial q of x p of x and q of x can be two different polynomials of course polynomial in x okay now the function of the form p of x by q of x is called a rational function the function of the form p of x by q of x is called a rational function if both p of x and q of x are polynomials of some degrees however it is certain that q of x cannot be zero for any x because if it is zero for some x probably that quotient is not defined now we have discussed so far what is a rational function now if the degree of the numerator of the rational function which i call maybe fx if fx equal to p of x by q of x if the degree of this polynomial is more than the degree of this polynomial or the degree of this polynomial is equal to degree of this polynomial we will not investigate such problems they are called improper fractions so we will not study improper fractions partial fractions are applied only for a proper fraction what is the proper fraction if the degree of numerator is less than strictly less than degree of denominator so take a function fx of the form p of x by q of x where p of x and q of x are polynomials of some degrees 
but the degree of numerator is strictly less than the degree of denominator only such problems can be handled under partial fractions of integrations what we will do in case it's an improper fraction meaning if the degree of numerator is either equal to degree of denominator or degree of numerator is greater than degree of denominator what we should do there are procedures to convert it a improper fraction into a proper fraction which i am not discussing in this class because we are now discussing how to integrate functions using partial fractions partial fractions are applied only for proper fractions improper fractions cannot be handled now how to start with partial fractions now for easiness i will divide the partial fractions into four different models i will call model 1 model 2 model 3 and model 4 let's begin with model 1 so what is model 1 please remember all these models are applicable only if it is a proper fraction if it is improper fraction these models is no exist right so model 1 what is model 1 of course it is the form uh let's say a uh, p of x by q of x where q of x is a product of linear terms product of linear polynomials okay product of linear polynomials okay so it is a proper fraction so degree of numerator is always lesser than degree of denominator and p of x and q of x are certainly polynomials now the further condition is that q of x is a product of the linear factors linear polynomials model 2 model 2 again it is going to be same as before p of x by q of x where q of x is again product of linear polynomials but up to some orders let me explain a simple example here Suppose you take 3x plus 1 by 4x minus 1 into 3x plus 2. This is a proper fraction because degree of numerator is 1, degree of denominator is 2, and these are two linear polynomials and the product. So this is model one. On the other hand, if you take another problem, 3x plus 1 divided by 4x minus 1 into 3x plus 2 the whole square. it is still remains to be a proper fraction but this is a linear polynomial if you expand this you get a quadratic polynomial but which is written as product of two linear polynomials so it is up to order 2 so this is of order 2 this is of order 1 so this is my model 2 what is model 3 let me not model 3 now the model 3 is again it is a proper fraction of the form p of x by q of x where q of x has two terms one is a linear polynomial and another one is a quadratic polynomial well this models can be extended for cubic and other polynomials but usually we only discuss linear and quadratic so this is like linear times quadratic when i say quadratic i mean it is not of this form it is not that it can be perfect squares and things like that for instance like an example for model 3 the example is uh, maybe 3x plus 1 i take same thing i will take 4x minus 1 i take same thing but this becomes x square plus x plus 1 this polynomial cannot be rewritten in this way don't try this you cannot get it with real coefficients therefore this is a linear polynomial and this is a quadratic polynomial right so is a proper fraction with linear linear and quadratic and the last of course third model can be extended to whole square whole cube all that up to higher orders also and the last model is p of x this is model number 4 maybe i'll change the color for model number 4 which is saying that it is p of x by q of x where q of x is a product of quadratic factors so each of them is quadratic quadratic into quadratic anyway as i said this class is not intended for the integration problems but explain how to resolve partial fractions in the next class we will see some simple demonstrations how this is done 
uh, on each of the model and evaluate the integrations okay so in this class we have learned what are partial fractions what are proper fractions what are uh, how to uh, uh, classify the model as model 1 model 2 model 3 and model 4 and of course we can also extend to other models but we are not discussing that because if it's sufficient if you study these models for your integration purposes so next class we will see more ideas on how to use this into evaluation of integration thank you